we can really uh, consider this road as uh, an emergency sort of uh, project to, to be undertaken by either the mining companies or government. Government has uh, you know, that commitment of constructing that road. What is left and from the contractor is payment. Uh, obviously, you know the challenge we have in Ghana. Only 27% of our roads are, are tarred. And we really worry as a country if, as at this time, we have only 27% of our roads tarred. You can, and obviously, if you look at where Takwa is situated and the natural resources that we contribute to the coffers of this nation, very, very important for us to get our roads you know, constructed. But I'm happy that uh, the government has shown that commitment to do it. The mining companies yesterday, I had a meeting with the Ghana Manganese Company, and they are also willing to undertake that project. So we today, I had a very fruitful short meeting with Alfred Barco uh, of Gofields, and he has also indicated his uh, zeal to support. And uh, all stakeholders are coming on board for us to get the road fixed. My people are, are, are being very, uh, supportive and uh, I'm telling them using your medium to reliably uh, inform them that the road will be fixed soon. So it, wouldn't, it wouldn't travel beyond this year, the end of this year. Uh, I mean, you know, if you even have all the money resources now, you can't use a day to fix it. Road you must go through processes. So that's what I'm saying uh, end of this year. So the process of the contractor is on site now. We're going to uh, add more to, to, I mean, in terms of resources to support him to get the road fixed. Oh, not at all. Uh, you know, obviously, uh, Pistia Huni Valley is different from my constituency. And uh, sentiment. People have a way of registering their displeasure. And registering their displeasure at a moment doesn't mean, uh, you know, there's any sign of failure. We've been in office for just two and a half years. So, uh, and Rome wasn't built in a day. If you look at what we've done so far, I mean, our challenges are many. And uh, one bold decision we've taken is the free SHS, if you have embarked on, and that is draining the economy, actually. But it's a very uh, good you know, initiative. We cannot say because it's draining the economy, you're going to throw it out there. Uh, at least each and every hamlet is benefiting out of this project. So I wouldn't say it's a failure. Look, look, look at the 1D, 1F planting for food and jobs and rolling out 100,000 youth to get some sort of income at the end of every month is a step in the right direction. Uh, it, it wasn't that bad when we were campaigning. Uh, it had not deteriorated to this extent. You know, the rain pathing and other contributed. Uh, so uh, it did not feature much. Uh, but obviously, uh, as a leader, uh, you must be at all times on your feet to, to deliver to your people. Oh, uh, you know, we had a budget. And as I told you, the road then wasn't, you know, that much, you know, uh, you know in, uh, if you consider the condition now, it wasn't that much deplorable. So uh, we considered last year's uh, budget. And that has, in a way, delayed. So it's not like a matter of not being a priority. Every country, every community, every you know, hamlet is a priority to, to this government. So uh, Takwa is a, a way, uh, one of the priority areas because uh, government sees the resources as you know something, uh, an effort coming from the whole that needs to, to to be sealed. So it's not something that we're going to throw out uh, the plight of. Uh, the Taco people.